The model farm built at Fort Wellington comprises a storage room, shade house, cattle pen, small ruminant pen, as well as demonstration plots for orchards and high-valued crops, among others. Minister of Agriculture Zulfi Karmosova says this project is a testament to the unwavering dedication of the government to foster innovation, resilience and sustainability within the agriculture sector. Farms like these are being built across the country to help you to get better um, best practices, to have better innovation, better skills, so that you can implement it in your holdings, your farm holdings. We'll have different training here. But that is not all for the farmers. I was just telling Ms. Salazar here that we now are revamping, we are working very closely with the Ministry of Education. And we are working to once again resuscitate the agriculture section, the agriculture department in the various schools so that also we can have school children, we can have students to come here to have practicals right at this, these farms. The model farm was funded with support from the Inter-American Development Bank through the Agriculture Ministry Sustainable Agriculture Development Project, SCDP. Speaking on behalf of the IDB at the commissioning, Lorena Salazar described the project as a great milestone for Guyana and commended the government for its continuous progress in this sector to advance food security. We are at the IDB are pleased with this uh, support in this uh, new era and this transformation with technology being implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture, which includes the research and demonstrations farm. This research and a uh, demonstration farm will assist to, assist to improve the ministry research and extension services. It is important to support several challenges that the extension services face and the agricultural sector face around the world. Uh, and uh, I think that this program will contribute to uh, improve those challenges, such as increase in production, reduce environmental impact, reduce in inequality and poverty. As part of the Agriculture Ministry's extension reform process, similar farms will be constructed across the regions to promote the use of good agricultural practices and technology transfer. This intervention will benefit a number of stakeholders, including cash crops and livestock farmers, as well as nearby schools and extension officers. Reporting for the NCN News, I am Roy Abrams.